Hi, my name is Natasha and welcome to PM Now's how to video on how to fix POBS issues in Primavera. Well, first off, what is POBS? POBS stands for the Performance Organisational Breakdown Structure and is a data table that sits within Primavera when a project is created. So why is this table a problem? Regular users and administrators of Primavera are aware of this issue and it's been noticeable ever since version 7 and greater. If you're wondering why your files appear to be really large, taking a long time to import or export, or maybe you're running out of space on your backup servers, this could very well be your problem. Now there's plenty of really good websites um, online that you should go and have a look at to get more information on the particular details of this. However, I'm just going to run you through a process, a really simple one, of how to deal with this particular contamination issue in a single XER file. If your whole database is already contaminated, that'll be a subject of another video on how to get into the back end of your database and clean out the data tables. I prefer this method because it deals with the issue before the XER file even touches the database. Whenever you're going to import a file from an external source, um, you probably should still be running XER Manager or similar tools to make sure that it's compliant to your organisational standards and making sure things like calendars and resources etc are set at the right level for your business. Okay, so let's get started. Now one of the things that you will need to make sure is set properly on your system is you go into the File Explorer view, go up into File and Options. We're using 365 in this particular instance but a similar Options view is available in this Explorer view. Now we need to go to the View tab and down here, about halfway down, you'll see Hide Extensions for Known File Types. You want to make sure that that is unticked because we need to make sure that we can change the file extension types during this process. Okay, so now we've set that criteria up, we're ready to go and navigate through the system to find the file that we want to actually work with in this particular instance. So we're going to go into File Explorer and navigate our way to the file that's causing us the problems. Here I've just set up a test POBS program for you to get an understanding of the process and what's happening and you can see that it's 6,921 kilobytes or nearly 7 meg. And that's a bit unusual because Primavera is pretty efficient at maintaining data size and its records and the way it compresses its information. So this tells me that I've got a problem with my file. So what do I do about that? Well, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to alter the extension name from an XER to a text field, so a text file, and I'm going to approve that. Then I'm going to go into Excel. This might seem strange, but we're going to go into Excel to see how many records have been put in the POPs table. So I've opened up Excel and I'm going to navigate my way to that text file. Now I need to make sure it's delimited. Just bear with me for a moment select the right file would be good. So now I open it, make sure it's delimited and that's all I need to do. Now I need to select the entire sheet, go up to the data tab and select the filter. On this filter we're looking for the percentage sign with the T and we click OK and that filters it down to those fields. Now you see the POBS is on line 9. That's the start of the records that are filling the POBS part of the table and you'll see it goes up to 41,705 lines. So I need to maintain that and remember that 41,705, close out of Excel, re I'm going to now open that in Notepad. I'm going to go into Edit, Go To, which will send me to that 41,705 line number. And you can see all the rubbish that has been put in the POBS area. It's absolutely useless information, but it's data that's in the system and it's contaminating it. So I go to the end of the line, the previous line, highlight all of the rows, every one up to when we get across, line 10. Highlight all of that and delete it. It's rubbish information, it's not required, you may need to press delete again to get rid of the spare row. 
you save that file. Close out of Notepad. You'll see the file size is dramatically reduced now that we've got rid of all that rubbish data. And all we need to do now is rename the file back to XCR. And we're ready to either run it through the XCR Manager or import it into our database. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was useful for you. Please visit us online at www.pmnow.com.